What's up ladies and gentlemen YouTube, my name is Jake with Export Academy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find static addresses with pointer scanning. In the last video, I talked about dynamic addresses, which values change every time the program is restarted. But with static addresses, you'll be able to edit the value of the address without having to search for it every time the game is closed and reopened. So enough of the talking, let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we have to do, of course, is attach TDigit to the game that you are trying to point to scan for. In my case, it is Assault Cube, so I'm going to go up to the process list, click on Windows, and click on Assault Cube, and select Open. Now that we have Cheat Engine attached to the game, we can do a normal scan as if we are searching for a dynamic value, except we'll be pointing scanning later on. So I have 20 rounds on my gun. If I type in 20 and search for a first scan, and I fire a couple rounds, I now have 16. If I search for 16 rounds and hit next scan, I'll reduce my results to just six. I'm gonna drop those six results down. Fire my gun again. I have 14 rounds. I'm gonna select this value here and test it with 50. And there we go. I have 50 rounds of my gun. So now all we have to do is pointer scan this address so we can find the pointer that points to the static address, which will remain the same all the time. To do that, simply right click the address, go down to pointer scan for this address, and click on OK. And you can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to name it 1. Just give it a couple of seconds. And here you can see our results. So it says pointer pass 344,000, actually 3,448,368. Now that is clearly too large for us so what we're gonna have to do is pointer scan a couple more times so we can narrow down the results so now to reduce our results we have to close out the game and reattach our process to the game again however we're gonna keep the addresses that we have now so I'm gonna go ahead and restart assault cube and I'll show you what I'm talking about alright so I just restarted assault cube so the next thing I'm gonna do is attach my process again so go to the attach process button go to Windows and assault cube and click open and it's going to ask you, do you want to keep the current address list code list? This is very important, so click yes. Now, scan for the ammo again, so I got 20 rounds. New scan. First scan. Fire, fire some rounds, I got 13 left. Come back over here. Next scan. And here we go. To verify this is the address, type in 50. And there we go, I got 50 rounds of ammo. So then, I'm going to click on the address down here and copy that the new address and bring back up that old pointer scan you had going on here make sure you do not close out of this by the way and click on pointer scanner and rescan memory and then paste that address into this box and click OK now this is gonna filter out those scans so I'm, gonna t I'm just gonna call this 2 and there we go, we dropped down to 870,000 from 3.8 million. So, and just keep repeating this process over and over again until you narrow it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this until I get fewer results. All right guys, I did a couple scans. Right now I'm about my fourth scan and I realized something that all these base addresses here are, are on the thread stack. So, I can go down here and you can see that I only have maybe a couple thousand that are the AC client so what I can do is I'm gonna click a few of these AC clients here I'm gonna add a lot to my address table because the results are narrowing down pretty slow and this is a not really a super safe way of doing it but it will find a static address sometimes so I'm gonna go ahead and click on as many of these as I can scroll down scroll down again just keep adding addresses to your address list and this can help speed up the process a lot all right there we go I'm content with that so now to test these addresses I'm going to go ahead and restart assault cube now once I attach cheat engine to the game again if all went well some of these addresses should say how much ammo I have. So I'm going to go ahead and attach salt cube and keep the current address list. And you can see here, some of these pointer scan results are pointing to a static address 
that looks like it'd be 0281 alpha 258. So, you can see some of them did fail, but we can get rid of those. So go ahead and delete those addresses. And you can go ahead and get rid of the old addresses as well because you do not need those anymore. And you should be left with just static addresses. So, or I should say you should be left with pointers that are pointing to the static address. So essentially you have the static address now. So if I go ahead and just keep one of these here, I can change this value to 50, shoot a couple rounds, there we go. And to test that this does indeed stay, I'll close out the game again, restart up Assault Cube. Reattach the process. Keep the current code list and there you go, I still have 20. So now you can use this static address to create physical hacks that you can copy on someone else's computer and they can run it as well. So there it is guys, thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.